Hello everyone, this is Sherwin here from TechOS and today I'm going to be showing you some advanced tips for using Siri on macOS Sierra. Now in my previous video I showed you how to use the basic Siri functions that come with the Siri package but there's a bit more to how you can use Siri which I didn't actually go through in my initial video on Siri. So the first tip is to do with pinning your Siri result into your notification center. So if I ask Siri something but I want the result which he or she returns me to be available for however long I want even if I quit the Siri interface then there's a simple way of making this happen. Firstly I'm going to ask Siri for something but to avoid you hearing a hissing noise which occurs whilst trying to recall Siri and my voice at the same time I'm going to cut the speech out. Okay, here's the weather for London for tomorrow. Now, Siri has returned my result, and if I look in the top right of the information box which Siri has presented to me, uh, just over here, you'll see there's a little plus icon. Now, if I click on this icon, my notification center will pop out, and then the Siri result pane, so just this weather section, will hop into it and display in there and stay there. So if I just uh, click on it now, you'll see Siri quits and I get my little weather card over here. Now I can go here and tap uh, or click show more so it gives me the full information card that Siri has or I can just go back to show less if I want to. Now I can also click on see more on theweather.com which is obviously the source of this Siri information but that will change depending on what the information card is showing and this is just a nice interactive widget here so I can click and drag it around so if I want to have this below my iTunes uh, music playing, then I can do that or I'll just put it back up where it was before. And if I want to get rid of it, I can just click on the cross and that will disappear. So that's the first out of my two tips. So how you can pin items into your notification center for future access. So this will work for anything, so sort of any searching for files or photos or uh, you know your documents that you may need to look through and have regular access to then you can do so and just pin the results to your notification center. So the other tip which I want to show you is how you can take items from a Siri search result and then use them wherever you are in macOS. So this may be particularly useful if like I am here in a full screen application in this case pages and if I don't want to have to leave the full screen state but I still want to be able to access external information that isn't within the application. So for this example which I have open here I like the bottom two pictures uh, so the elephant and the other animals I don't know what they are in their meerkats but I'm not too keen on this giraffe picture I prefer to have say a tiger because it's more relevant to what I'm doing. So I'm going to ask Siri to find something for me and then I'll show you how you can use the result. Here are some images of tigers that I found on the web. So as you can see, Siri has got my results here, and if I just find any of these images which I want, so we've got this one in the bottom right hand corner, uh, I'll just click and drag it in, drop it over the giraffe image, and it will just put the tiger image in place, and I can go ahead and quit the Siri result, and that image is now in place, very simple, and of course as I said it works for files, so if I had to drag a file in from somewhere, maybe I was in Final Cut Pro and I'm looking for a video to put into my timeline whilst video editing, I can search for the file with Siri, and then just drag and drop it. So it's a very nice feature to have, uh, both of the features I've showed you, so pinning to your notification center and also taking Siri results information and just dragging it to use wherever you are. But anyway, that's it for this video. Um, it's very simple to do that and I hope that you found this video helpful. If you have any questions on using Siri on macOS Sierra or just have any other questions or problem using your Apple devices in general then do let me know by getting contact with me using the details that are in the description of this video or of course by leaving a comment on this video. Don't forget to like this video and do also subscribe by clicking or tapping on the logo which is on the screen right now and do also consider watching the videos on either side of the logo. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.